Hey guys, what's up? Once again, it is your favorite friendly neighborhood dyke, Eli. Um, I am hoping that I can edit out the sound of the traffic in the background. It is quite a bit louder than I thought it was. Uh, and it's also ridiculously bright outside. So, yeah, all, all of that, all of that is going on right now. So, uh, yesterday, I think is when it went up, I made a video talking about um, sexual repression in women and how I feel like I like, at least I briefly touched on how I feel like that's affecting um, our queer community and probably the heterosexual community also, although I don't really know you guys, but today I wanted to talk about something closely related but a little bit different, and that is the experience that it seems like a lot of our trans brothers and sisters are having. Um, and I just like, I, I don't know, you guys, like, it's so weird to me any time, first of all, a broader issue that I have with humanity, <laughs> this is getting deep for a minute, guys, buckle your dang seatbelts, we're getting deep, a broader issue I think that I have with humanity in general is this propensity to always want to climb, like, a hierarchy ladder and be, like, better than someone else, and, and that seems to be the case, because even within minority groups, we still will discriminate against other minority groups, even being a minority group ourselves. Like, there's no, there's no respect or camaraderie anywhere. And this is evident in all of humanity, of course. It's not like it's just the gays. It's like, all over the place. There is no respect and camaraderie. There is no loyalty. There is no, like, you are one of my people. You are from my tribe. And so, therefore, it, there's just none of that, right? We're all just, like, very competitive and out for ourselves. And ultimately, I think most people just want to fit in to whatever the fuck the social norm is. And that can create a very toxic, vacuum-like kind of culture where we're all just chasing acceptance and nobody's actually challenging what the social norms are. Like, what what are the requirements for this acceptance that we're all that we're all chasing is it is it healthy is it reasonable is it rational is it something that like we can easily attain or whatever we all just have to act like you know straight girly or straight manly robots and that's it and that's the path to acceptance and if you're not that exactly you can go fuck right off is what it some sometimes feels like but anyways some um, Good God. Anyways, I have a number of friends who are trans, uh, and it, having known some of these people for a great many years now, I have been no stranger to some of the plights that they face that are unique to them. Um, for as much as I bitch and complain about my experiences using public bathrooms just as a butch female, um, it pales in comparison to the experience of most trans people, especially if you're not straight passing or, you know, gender appropriate passing, whatever, you know, people feel like you should look like. Um, so that's always hell. But in a more specific sense, you know, these people, like our, our trans bros and our trans sisters, they're still part of our queer community, you know, and they still like deserve our support and our love and our respect and our care. And I think that there's a lot of kind of hidden or maybe internalized transphobia in the gay community and it just makes me really sad like all of the all of this shit you guys just makes me really sad i hate to keep making videos where it's like i sound like i'm lecturing or finger pointing or it's always something negative or whatever but you guys like there's some real shit going on and it's like everybody's just too busy watching fucking thirst traps on tiktok or whatever and it's like man i understand everybody needs like a mental break from the heavy crap that's going on in the world but also, the heavy crap that's going on in the world is never going to get solved if we all just keep, like, sort of complacently sticking our head in the sand and pretending that it's not there and it's not really a problem, you know? Like, at some point, we're actually going to have to talk about it. So, this is me attempting to start the conversation, anyways, that trans people need to be recognized in our community more, you know? And we need to do, we as gay men and lesbian women and bisexual people specifically us the more normalized now queer people need to do a better job of accepting and like welcoming in our trans people right <laughs> we just need to do a better job of that um just kind of getting sick of some of the tire same tired old rhetoric and i i don't i don't know anyways um i kind of didn't really have like a specific direction for for this video i guess just 
you know, I have a really close trans friend that I've known for many, 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 many years now. And, you know, we just talked a couple of days ago and he was telling me about, sorry, a big old semi truck. He was telling me about, you know, this recent experience that he had. And I guess there's a part of me that's maybe like naively optimistic because I just keep thinking to myself, like it's 2021 and the millennials were right on top of things and the Zoomer generation coming up behind us, they're right on top of things and you guys really are. Um, you know, we're all about like this new inclusive language and these inclusive spaces and these safe spaces and all about self-awareness and acceptance and all this kind of stuff. And for all of the talk that we do that sounds so great and all of these like, you know, campaigns and movements and, you know, whatever, the reality is that I, I think when you look, when you look real clearly and closely at like the nuts and bolts of the thing, the picture of our actual LGBTQ plus community, I don't, I don't really know how, how far we've actually come like within our community. I'm not talking about the equality that we've achieved in the world. I'm talking about the way we treat ourselves and each other in our own damn community. Like, why are we so fucking toxic to each other, you guys? Why? Why are we still behaving like we're in high school? Even if you're like 18 or 19, it doesn't mean you need to act like an immature twat and like make people feel shitty about themselves. Like, you're, that doesn't make you cool. You know what I mean? Like, that's not, that's not cool anymore. Like, this isn't actually the L word. We aren't actually on TV getting paid to act like sarcastic douchebags with, you know, funny sarcastic little faces and all of our cute little quips or whatever. Like these are real human beings with real feelings and real thoughts. We're just kind of like casually stepping on it. It just, I would like for people to have a little more awareness, you know, that just because somebody is not an exact carbon copy replica of you and that therefore there are some differences in this other person, it doesn't mean that they deserve any less respect you know and i i really kind of feel like that applies to some of you know the people who oppose us as well like it's not going to do us any favors you guys to it's not going to do us any favors to treat the people who oppose us with venom and vigor and you know spew our verbal vomit at them every time they say something we disagree with while at the same time preaching acceptance and freedom of speech and the freedom to express yourself the way that you want, it all starts feeling very hypocritical when we start losing our shit as soon as somebody says something that we don't like or that we don't agree with or whatever. And it's the same thing with our trans peeps. Like, we can't practice or preach, you know, acceptance and safe spaces and you know, freedom of expression and, you know, this whole revolution of sexual identity and, you know, the revolution of the non-binary status and, you know, all this, like, progress that it seems like we've made and yet the trans people are still very marginalized in our community, <laughs> you know? I don't know. I know there's a lot going on in the world and there's a lot that is, like, taking up people's mental space and emotional space and sometimes it can feel very overwhelming to have so many different, like, social issues and things that you feel like you need to care about and you need to devote time to. Um, I understand and I empathize. It, it sometimes feels like the world is more fucked up than I have energy for. Um, but, you know, just try to make an effort, I guess, you know, to think about the trans people that you know or that you've encountered or even things like the trans people that you see on TV or in music or that you read about, you know, in media or something like that. Just ask yourself, like, the kind of attitude that you have when you're reading these things. Just try to check yourself. That's all, you know? Just do it gently because we're all still learning, you know? This is a, this is a brave new world and we're all learning and whatever, so don't, like, you know, beat yourself up or whatever. But just check yourself and ask yourself if you're approaching people who are different from you with a place of curiosity and warmth and acceptance and love or if you're approaching people who are different from you from a place of fear and insecurity and paranoia and judgment and that's the kind of thing that we don't want you know it's a sort of it's exactly the kind of behavior that we have fought so hard against from the masses and i feel like we are now becoming the masses and we should really fucking watch ourselves with that so Anyways, I feel like this is maybe coming off a little ranty and it's really really hot out here. Holy cow, sweating my proverbial balls off and the traffic's really loud. So I'm gonna just cut the video short and hope that 
some people actually leave a comment, you guys, like just because there are no comments doesn't mean you can't leave a freaking comment. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's just like sheeple following each other. So we're gonna need like one brave soul to leave the first comment and then maybe somebody else can come along and leave the second comment. And the next thing you know, we'll have like a whole conversation going on. And wouldn't that be wonderful? If we were all just like talking and communicating, you know, instead of you guys sitting there thinking about how like, oh, this is kind of a good video, oh, yeah, whatever. And I'm never gonna let her know that because I'm not gonna comment because there's nobody else can leave. Just leave a fucking comment, you know? All right, just like, leave a comment. All right, all right, thanks. Okay, see you guys in another video.